All right, question 24 and 25 for the Acer red paper. Question 24. Of the following, the most likely proportion of phenotypes in offspring born from a cross between two yellow mice is. All right, so to answer this question, first we have to know what the genotypes are and their respective phenotypes. So um, from the stem, we know that the heterozygous mouse is going to be yellow. So therefore we can say that the a yellow gene, the yellow allele, sorry, um, is going to be dominant to the black one. So we've indicated the dominant one by the big Y. Um, so for the homozygous yellow condition, um, where the mice do not survive to birth, so they will be dead. Um, so therefore we can say that big Y, big Y results in a um, mouse that does not survive to birth. Um, meanwhile, the little Y, little Y condition, the homozygous black condition, is going to result in the color black, obviously. All right, um, so let's have a quick go at trying to do these crosses. So um, pretty simple cross. We've got a uh, two yellow mice um, crossing. So we go big Y, little Y by big Y, little Y. And if we just draw up our table, usually I don't do this. Um, I just skip to the next step, but just for clarity, I'll do it. Um, so, yep, so we get big Y, big Y, big Y, little Y, big Y, little Y, and little Y, little Y. All right, excellent. So this results in the following um, phenotypes, uh, sorry, genotypes. Um, so we get big Y, big Y, two big Y, little Y's, and one little Y, little Y. So if we just have a quick look at what each of these genotypes mean, uh, big Y, big Y is, will not survive to birth, so it will be dead. Um, big Y, little Y results in um, a yellow phenotype, so we get two yellows, and a little y, little y results in black. Excellent. So, therefore, we can say that a cross between two yellow mice, big y, little y, heterozygous mice, um, will result in two yellow and one black being born. So the correct answer would be C. <clears throat> All right. Question 25. Two yellow-coated uh, spotted mice were crossed repeatedly. Of the following, the phenotypes of offspring born would most likely include. All right, so there are a couple ways you could do this. Um, you could do a dihybrid cross, draw up a big table, um, or you could just sort of logic it. So um, we know that the spotted mice, um, the spotted mice are recessive. So uh, they are not dominant. All right, so therefore we can say that, so let's just say the um, spotted allele is little p, spotted, and the um, plain allele is big P, so big P means dominant, uh, sorry, okay, in capitals it means it's dominant, so that's plain. All right, so if we have, um, if we have spotted mice, we know that that mice has to be little, little p, sorry, little p, little p. Right, and if we're crossing little p, little p, the offspring is always going to be little p, little p. So what we're saying is that if we cross two recessive, um, if we cross two recessive uh, mice, then the phenotype of the offspring is always going to be the recessive um, phenotype, okay? So if you cross spotted mice, they're always going to have spotted babies. All right, so if we have two yellow-coated spotted mice and we cross them repeatedly, what we're doing is we're, we're essentially just crossing um, like before, we're crossing the two yellows, uh, the two yellows, and we're gonna get this sort of phenotype for the colors and for the, um, the coat spotting or plain nature, well, we know it's always gonna be spotted. So therefore we can say that the phenotype of the offspring born will be um, two thirds yellow spotted and two, um, one third black spotted. Um, so if we just look through the answers, we can see that one of the answers C is one third black spotted. So we know, <clears throat> and that is the correct answer for question 25. And that concludes questions 24 and 25.